What is up guys and welcome to my daily plans and goals. So it's a new day today. Um, I, I'm, my nightmare is still one level short from Max, but I actually decided to just like, you know, fuck it because I can pretty much use her in dungeons and eventually at some point she's going to get to 60, alright? So I'm not, I'm pr pretty much in no rush. She's only going to, going to, I can't even talk right now. She's only going to get a little bit more stats at 60. Um, her evil 1 base stats are actually pretty bad. I really do need to try and get her to evil 2 until she's, you know, a lot more usable. I realized something. I actually learned something with her. She, her second skill, I thought it only healed for 10%, but actually heals for 10% of every target hit. So if there's four targets, it heals for 40% of her max HP, which is really insane. You know, it's like, I thought it was like, all right, um, it's, it wasn't going to be very, like, you know, very strong in terms of healing, but it was going to be decent but this actually makes it so she can pretty much solo heal a dungeon by herself um which might be pretty nice I'm, i probably could build like a three nuker team or something like like build like two more other nukers and then just run her as a solo healer and then she also does damage as well while she's healing because she this is like an, act, an actual nuke skill which will generate more sp which means more healing um maybe but i i still really want to raise my dark hero because i think the dark hero is really really strong like this this shit is just so op um so that brings me to my to my my next point which is my goal for today and that is to that is to get enough resources to make my cura or ascend my cura which is going to be quite a lot um i basically woke up i farmed for like three hours already i only got seven which is going to be very very hard i'm going to try to get at least 50 today or maybe close to 50 and then i can just refresh the shop a few times and then i'll be able to get 50 dark stones and she'll definitely be able to get um six stars sometime this week I am not sure if I want to 6-star her first or the Arthur. If I want to 6-star the Arthur, which is um, Fire Day is coming around in two more days, and then I can just get enough high Fire Stones and mid Fire Stones to 6-star to, to my Arthur. I obviously need to spend some time in Star Stone to farm you know, more Star Stones in order to make another 6-star. But pretty much with four 6-stars, I should be able to do it. Um, I should be able to do a lot more dungeon runs and stuff. I'm still kind of iffy on 6-starring Arthur because he's not really that strong in PvE. This thing is not that reliable. Um, his armor break is tied to his second skill and only it only has a 60% chance to land, which is not which is not all that high. Like the, the highest selling point for Arthur is his 100% chance to stun, which doesn't work against bosses, so it's not all that useful. So that's yeah, that's that's pretty much it in terms of progression, I think. Um I if if I don't six star one of those two, I'm looking towards trying out some someone else, someone that might have a reliable armor break. I'm thinking of five starring my my wood Gatito, and I want to test him out in um, B7 golems to see how well he does. If he does very well, I might consider just like you know maxing him out, going ham, because he's the only monster that has a hundred percent chance to to armor break on his first kill. If not, I can always raise another, raise a fire healer or something, and I can use that fire healer for um, B9. Basically, I just need to, I just need to replace her runes, um, and then like replace the Arthur and this um, my my succubus, replace her runes as well, and then use um, and then use a fire healer, and I should be able to do B9 very very easily. I might actually work towards that first if I if I'm not able to get too many high dark stones, or if it just annoys the shit out of me and like I just get too tilted that I give up and decide to six star her next week. Um, but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty interested in like element neutral um, healers and and tanks and stuff because they can they can actually do like they can be very versatile. That you can you can use them for for a lot of things like she can pretty much be used in every single dungeon besides like a light one and if if you want to use her in a light one you can always pair her up with more dark units to, to kind of split up the damage and if as long as you build her really tanky it doesn't really matter because she can tank the damage in, in a in a light dungeon as well um, if you make her really really tanky so I think that's pretty much it in terms of progression um, in terms of content like for today I um, I don't know I don't have any 
concrete plans yet. I didn't get a lot of um, requests to do spotlight videos, but I'm definitely going to be finishing up my beginner guide series very, very soon. And then I'll look towards uh, making some other videos, maybe some review videos on some of the monsters that I've recently raised, because that, that might be pretty fun as well. Um, and, and see if there's any new news that's going to be coming out very soon. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.